Welcome everybody to yet another Earthbound Super Series race. I'm here, uh, uh, I am Andy Perfect. I'm here with Leslie Pro. Leslie, how are you doing today? Doing well tonight. Hi again, everybody. As we set up for the second of the loser semifinals, we've got Ryko Rider, who last round defeat beat me well he went well let's just say it was a case of where i should have t quite literally taken the left turn at albuquerque temple on the other hand was on the wrong end of the world record run that i was on commentary for so yeah we, we are here with the uh the losers bracket the winner of this race will move on to race aurelix who uh ended up winning a couple days ago uh, against Daniel RGT, and the winner of uh, th that race will end up racing Thomas. So we have the next couple races all lined up. We just got a couple uh, people waiting up for the outcomes of these races. We're wrapping up the uh, this tournament. I believe we have four or five races left, and both racers are ready to go. Looks like we're jumping right into this. That we are, and they're off. Ooh, right into the uh, department store. I like that. He's going to give the yeah. runners a bunch of opportunities to check out these stores and see if they can't find anything good, any skip items. I feel like that's, in the early game, you're definitely looking for those cheap skip items, the burgers, the skip sandwiches, protein drinks, all that to uh, help you out in later floors if you can come across a skip. Double burger counts as the burger skip. However, they're much more expensive than your typical cheeseburger. I believe the only burger type that will not work for burger skips is the mammoth burger. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's due to just how massive those things are. Because just look at the name of it. That <laughs> thing's gotta be ginormous. Some of the left are taking a little snake fight. Sometimes it's beneficial to take those early fights. Even if you're only getting one experience a person, sometimes that's all you need to get everyone that first level, which can be pretty helpful in the early few fights. Now, one big difference between our runners to this point is that Raiko opted to pick up a T-ball bat for Ness as it's slightly better offense compared to the cracked bat. Oh, and Temple's in the room where you can talk to that one NPC 17 times as you're about to see Ryko Rider. <laughs> I'm so you. glad they're that both, both runners are, now. are cruising through that text at the same time. Yeah, that's just text mashing right there. Nothing fancy. It's 17 times, get $50. And, which you'd be surprised how good that can be early on. Yeah, in the, in the early game, before you can find an ATM, before you fight some enemies that'll give you some decent amount of money, those early, that early 50 bucks, 100 bucks or whatever, it can make a pretty significant difference in what items you'll be, be able to end up getting at some of these stores. Temple with that, that unfortunate butterfly as it cruises across to Ness. Yeah, the butterfly gave the teddy bear a back attack, which is, that's a good 10, 15 seconds right there. So as it stands right now, both runners looks like are taking pretty much the same route, except Raiko's about two or three rooms ahead on this linear path that they're both on right now. I'm not sure about it being so linear, as I don't remember Raiko going into this. Oh, that's right. Temple oh, yeah. went, or Raiko went left yeah, right there, mind. and Temple went right, so they have now deviated. Temple finding a double beam, that's a pretty nice weapon to find early on for Jeff. It's going to be a huge help be able to uh, essentially auto-fight lots of enemies from here on out just with that extra offense on Jeff alone. A worthless protoplasm early can be trouble, but especially before Paula learns PK fire or Ness gets rocking, but Raiko right, opting to use PK freeze to make it simple. There's some nasty encounters over here in the corner for Raiko, the goats, and the protoplasm. Yeah, like you said, the protoplasm is, is pretty scary. Raiko, I don't believe, has any really strong weapons, so each protoplasm is going to take multiple hits. And uh, they can call for help, and that fight can get out of hand very quickly. 
Temple right now is on that same path that Raikou was on earlier, so it looks like Temple, when they deviated that I mentioned earlier, Temple kind of hit a dead end and is now kind of taken the path that Raikou did. And they'll probably meet up in a, in a, in a couple rooms. Now, Paula did learn PK Fire on that last level up, so that resolved that problem. However, six psychic points early can be very costly, and Raikou gets a successful back attack. This would be a good time to run, and that's what he does. Yeah, both runners are on in the similar point in this cave right now, but Temple, in my opinion, has a huge advantage with that double beam that he found for Jeff. And now a Spectrum Beam, which I imagine Raikou might find soon. That the Spectrum Beam is even better. It's a huge weapon for Jeff early on. Yeah, Jeff getting big offense early can really help with a number of these early, mid, even up to mid-game auto fights. That's an NPC that Temple wants no part of, and Temple's not checking the Sea of Eden spiral as Raikou gets aforementioned Spectrum Beam. Yeah, it's, it's debatable if the spiral is worth it in the early game. I mean, really the only thing you might find in the early, at this point is maybe an extra skip item or a Franklin badge. And just the time it takes to get it is probably not worth the chance that you would get something. Here we are fighting the first boss and we got ourselves the cop. Yeah, and for bosses, this for boss one is tame. Extremely tame. In fact, it's so tame, Jeff took it out in one attack. Now, had that been something like Starman Jr. or Car Painter, you probably would have seen a big bottle rocket used to avoid having a party member go down. And here come the sharks. All three of them. And here's one that can get out of hand if you let the skate punk hang around, because that enemy calls for help. And that is right, Raikou did pick up an egg. We're probably going to see a bird set free here within the next couple of minutes. So now we have both runners on floor two. Both runners going through the exact same room. Temple on the left finding a uh, wet towel, a nice skip item, as well as filling up on a few bottles of water. Bottles of water can be pretty significant on Pooh. Just, they're very cheap. Each one restores 10 psyche points. And it can just help you get out of a jam um, if you find yourself in a bad situation, having to burn out a lot of Pooh's psyche points. Just being able to throw out an extra two or three freeze betas can make a pretty significant difference. Even a freeze alpha or two can make a big difference. You hear that? Finding the, a stag beetle. Yeah, you hear you hear that that falling sound. That is a temple. Is a feature added to the randomizer. If you press the R button, it'll drop the last item you picked up. So temple picking up that insignia or that stag beetle, deeming it completely useless, and immediately throwing it away. I think Raikou's shopping trip was a bit shorter as Temple finds the main portion of the belch base. Did Raikou pick up a wet towel from that vendor? I didn't catch. I believe so. Okay, so it looks like he probably picked up the wet towel and that's it, while Temple decided to fill up on a few bottles of water. So again, Raikou just, players have swapped roles a little bit. Uh, Temple is now a few rooms ahead of Raikou, but they're both pretty much on the same path right now. Neither runner has found any kind of skip. Uh, they both have the wet towel item. I'm not aware of any other skip items they have. They might have picked up a burger or something, but I'm not aware of anything. Temple has found the first potential skip. He found the backside of Belch inside of Belch's base. <laughs> You need the jar of fly honey for that one, and it's worth noting that there is a scripted fight that Temple's run into. Slimy little pile. A little unfortunate, the slimy little pile calling for help. I guess fortunate or unfortunate, depending how you look at it. It means Temple's going to get some extra experience from this fight, and a few extra levels, which could be kind of nice, actually. But yeah, both runners on the exact same fight right now. We are neck and neck. Really, no runner has any kind of advantage right now. It is 
pretty much a wash at this point. Raiko might be a little better just with his stats and his HP and everything. Temple opting to fight this mole right here. Probably most likely solely for the experience more than anything. The present's just a nice little bonus behind it. Yeah, we with, call that icing on the cake. With only freeze alpha, or only a freeze alpha and a freeze beta, it can be a little scary if your freeze beta rolls low. You might not kill him in one round and you might have a character die. But uh, he, he gets Jeff or he keeps Jeff alive with one HP. And Raiko also kills him, so both players are going to gain that experience, be on roughly the same level, <laughs> and we are within seconds of each other. Yeah, the big difference here is that the teddy bear got ripped in half on Raiko's side. Does Temple, uh, Temple still has his teddy bear, so I guess uh, he just got a 25% roll for the mole to target one of his party members instead. All for a popsicle. Eh, hardly worth it. I mean, maybe in the summertime that'd be a good snack, but nah, not right now. So we see the enemy difficulty hasn't really gone up a lot yet. Still finding protoplasms. We saw the protoplasms on floor one as well. Raiko just found a backstage pass, which I imagine Temple will come across as well. So that so now we have a wet towel and a backstage pass on both members. Raiko also opts not to head to the right for that present. I'll be interested to see if Temple decides to go for that present. Raikou getting an instant win off a of Mad Duck because the Mad Duck didn't want any part of it. Nope, yep. not bothering. Both players are going to skip that present off to the right. I don't have a, a spoiler up or anything, so I'm not sure what that was. Most likely, probably something insignificant. But you never know, maybe they both missed out on a Franklin badge. I don't know, but that hit that Paula just took on Rise screen was quite significant because it was a smash. Looks like both players, I didn't realize there was a branch up to this point, but both players have realized that this is a dead end path, so they're both going to have to backtrack here, through or back through here. Ooh, Raiko lets the chicken go. I give Raiko now has lead. Yep, Raiko decided to tell the chicken. Why don't you fly high, <laughs> free bird, yeah. It's the only thing I can think of, really. Yeah, he, R Raiko got that from, a, in the, there was a monkey cave room where he got a fresh egg. And Temple did not even talk to the person to get the fresh egg, so... Temple not even having the chance, or not even giving himself the chance to be humane. Well, to be fair, Temple might have thought that that was the King Banana vendor. Both uh, King Bananas but, would he be even more valuable. Yeah, because that's a skip. And Raiko's taking on another scripted encounter. Another slimy little pile. Second one of the floor. It's interesting that both player, both runners opted to skip this door and then come back to it. A Temple's skip doing item. tap strats to get by. And that's a burger skip. Yeah, so Temple did pick up a... Uh, a, uh, a burger somewhere in the past, a double burger, most likely at the shop in in the department store. Both runners have the burgers, so now they are both on the same unknown floor. Which was is guaranteed to go forward since skips have to be at least two floors difference. Runners know they were on floor two, so know they know that that skip had to have gone forward. So they know they are at least on floor four and possibly further ahead. Judging based on the bear enemy, it looks like they are probably on floor four itself. On fl floor four itself. We got a magnet hill sighting, which is not only a free heal on the floor. There is a present there, which in the vanilla game that's the carrot key. I what love, will it be today? I love Ness poking his head over the wall. <laughs> that is amusing. Ness is probably like. Wait, why is that Tenda over there and not me? I'm confused. What alternate universe is this? So yeah, both runners taking the same skip. I don't think either runner had another burger, so they each one just had one. So neither runner had the chance to explore the other side. Maybe Temple is actually backtracking to the to Moonside. Okay, he's just probably going to go into other rooms in Moonside. Maybe he's going to take the path around and get the extra presents. Looks like that's what Temple's doing. He's going to take the little path, explore all the presents around the outside. Raiko is, Raiko is exploring 
the uh, the uh, rest of the area. He finds the backstage pass skip. So Raikos get to a, gets to explore another floor off the unknown floor he was on. Based on that travel charm pickup, he's most likely went backwards. Maybe back onto floor two or one. But I guess he won't know for sure until he starts seeing some other presents, maybe some enemies. So yeah, the current state is both runners took a skip to the same floor. And then Raiko has taken an additional skip using the backstage pass that he picked up earlier. So Raiko Rider is on a different floor right now. Looks like he's decided that it was backwards. So now he's he's gone back to the same floor the temple's on. So we're back on the same floor again. Temple just exploring different rooms. He picked up some nice defensive items. He got a coin of slumber, pixie bracelet, silver bracelet. Just some nice defensive items, making some of these next fights a little safer. Opportunity for some presence here on the second floor of... Well, it looks like it looks like Temple actually opened up the right side of the skip room. So now he gets to explore the right side of the skip. I guess he decided I'm on roughly floor four or five. I'm gonna explore this other skip and see where this one goes. Yeah, he had two burgers, or Raiko only picked up one. Based so on that, that ego orb enemy down it. below, I'm guessing that Temple is Ooh. now on floor six to eight ish. Yeah, we're about to find out. Hitman incoming on eight. Ooh, we got a doggo. And a doggo seed. Oh boy, that I is. <laughs> I saw Shroom on seven and Karma and, and the dog on eight. I didn't catch. I didn't go quick enough to see all the other ones. But we do know now that Temple is on Star floor pendant. eight. Temple just got a skip. Star pendant that is gonna be huge oh did he find a star pendant oh that's awesome yeah and he's gonna need it too because carbon dog attacking with fire that'll be a very good defense mechanism but at and the same time you you have to wonder if temple he, temple is feeling a little under leveled right now he doesn't probably doesn't have a lot of damage output is he maybe wondering, is it worth backtracking to floor 7 to see if I can find, find a skip ahead to floor 9 so I don't even have to take on the dogs? Is that is that something you consider? Would you consider something like that? I could, but I could also consider what he just did. Try and take on a solo star man to get a big level up. Now up in the 20s. Alternatively, an egg orb would do just fine because egg orbs are also weak to freeze. So yeah, the main difference right now is Temple decided to buy multiple burgers. Oh, and Temple has already found the boss to floor eight. So he now knows where the carbon dog fight is. He is right next to it. Um, the big difference is Raiko only bought one burger. And the one skip room they found was the double burger skip room. And because Raiko only found, only took one burger, he could skip into it, but he couldn't experiment with the other side. So Raiko has skipped, has taken the single skip while Temple took both. And Temple now has a significant lead because of it. Not to say that this is over by any means. Raiko could get lucky and skip straight to floor nine, which would be <laughs> a huge advantage for Raiko to be able to skip the dogs. So yeah, Temple now has the dogs to deal with. He knows where they are. He's probably just going to be exploring floor 8 for a little bit, taking some fights, gaining some levels, just looking for some decent gear or anything to help him out with this fight. Finding a super bomb vendor would be pretty good right about now, I dare say. Yeah, I mean, uh, with Temple's situation, super bombs and multi-bottle rockets would, bo would both be useful. Once you're on floor 9, multi-bottle rockets probably not so much anymore. But since you still, you're facing down the dogs, if you can find a multi-bottle rocket salesman, picking up three or four of those would make the dogs a lot simpler. Yeah, Rye does, lacks the money to be able to revive Paula at the moment, so would have to find an ATM to make that happen. Meanwhile, Temple finding the skip to own net, but that is not going to be helpful in his situation. At that last shop that Raiko just encountered, he did see another bakery selling double burgers. 
and he had the money for it, that was an opportunity for him to pick up a double burger and try out that other skip, because he still is in Moonside. I think he's, the, the skip room was back through the hotel, so he's just a couple doors away from that skip room. Buying a double burger could give him that chance to uh, check out that other room. Although he does pick up an auto-star master. It's a nice pickup. That could be worth it because auto-star masters will teach Poo PK Star Storm. And since we did not see Master Bark in the boss rotation, the only way that Poo's going to get Star Storm in this seed is through the use of an auto-star master or two. That could be the only one, so it tops out at Star Storm Alpha. If there's two, it would top out at Omega, but... Either way, Star Storm is better than nothing, in my opinion. If you even just have it for Alpha, you're doing a significant amount of damage. Ooh, and another Star Pendant. More defense for Doggo. Yeah, Temple's already got multiple Star Pendants. That's a uh, that's huge. In reality, two Star Pendants is is solid defense or a solid loadout for the Gigas fight. Uh, he just needs some offense to be able to take on Gygus right at this point. But gear-wise, he's probably considering himself pretty close to ready. Chaz <laughs> brings up a heck of a point. If all the pendants are on eight, a skip to nine would be bad news. And speaking of bad news, Jeff on Raikou's side has been mashramized. You To get rid of that, you would have to find a healer and get paid 50 bucks for it or find the or you get a free heal the uh how are the um, path to happy happy village raiko has found the boss too we still don't know what floor he's on we'll find out as soon as he talks to the boss what floor he's on my guess is four that is what floor he's on yeah he's on four and this is a sentry robot one of the more annoying foes to go against, in my opinion. Ops for the Star but, Storm, probably a smart move just to get out of that fight. Absolutely, because those things can do a lot of damage and can call for help. Because like one time in a practice seed, I get near beating one. I call for help. I mean, literally, <laughs> just as it's about to go down. Temple on the left side, oh. finding another skip room probably might give him a little bit of hope maybe i can skip or uh, head backwards to six or maybe one of them goes to nine or uh, backwards and then another skip off that get to nine just an, an opportunity to get past these dogs if he doesn't or if uh, he can so it looks like raiko is just going to power forward he finds another uh, shop with double burgers which he could backtrack to eight or that one skip to get him to um, floor eight to be on the same floor as temple but he's just advancing through the floors normally. This is far from over. Temple does have a three floor advantage, but all it takes is one room and one skip for Raiko to take the lead. Yeah, the big... Yeah, because right now, I think with what this seed's gonna be, this could be the better long-term strategy for Raiko. However, if it works out for him, then a key advantage he'd have right now is having stars. Oh hey, one of the uh, Cave of the Past robot rooms. That's a room that's always amused me. And we've got ourselves a scripted encounter, the mini bar, which in the vanilla game is 616 HP of pain. Pain, I like that description. <laughs> Pain and suffering. And it's an enemy that resists freeze. Yeah, and the glitch and the glitchless run it's a little scary, but with Raiko being on floor five, it's probably not that big of a deal. He's got the stats to probably take it on pretty cleanly. And down it goes. And that's a free heal for Raiko. All things considered, you'll take those. Is Jeff still mushroomized? 
Negative. He found a healer in a hospital. Oh, okay. And that's 50 bucks in his pocket for that, too. It's, you know, it's strange how that happens, but hey. You know what they say. Ryko we'll finds, Ry finds a skip room on the right side. He needs one skip sandwiches, but he does not have them, unfortunately. Yeah, if he had one, he'd be on floor eight. Temple, on the other hand, is going back to floor four. Oh, interesting. I didn't even realize the Temple had backtracked. Looks like Temple has decided that I don't even want to deal with um, the dogs. I'm just going to backtrack to four and find a, try and find a way past them, which is an, an interesting strategy. He just doesn't even want to deal with it. Well, I cannot say that I blame him for that because honestly, trying to take on the dogs can be really tough because if that can be just a miserable fight to begin with. And if they roll up on HP, you're in for a bad time. No, we're gonna yes, go ahead and I, I, we're gonna go ahead and jump over the audio to Ryko Rider since technically he's got a little bit of a lead now. Temple has got the star penance that he found on eight, and he has additional knowledge. But Ryko's got a he's got the floor lead at this point. On the flip side, Temple just found the auto star master, so Star Storm could be something that makes him change his mind and go back. We don't know yet. On the other hand, Rai is in Onet. And about to take on a couple of thirsty coil snakes. These guys can be dangerous because of poison. And no sooner than I say it, does Paul <laughs> get poisoned on his side. That is the definition of commentator's curse. Thankfully, I would expect both Ness and Pooh have healing bait at this point. Temple finding King Banana. But yeah, I just want to mention again that uh, Raiko does not have the knowledge of any of the future bosses. I don't believe he has found a hintman to give him knowledge about future uh, future bosses. So Raiko has no idea that Floor 8 lurks a boss that potentially might even be more difficult than Gygus. That would be hard to argue against because that is not a fun fight. No matter how you spin it. Temple taking down the boss to floor four, advancing him to floor five, and now we have both runners on the same floor. Temple's taking a vastly different path to get there. He skipped from four to eight to an explored there, found a hitman, found out that Carbon Dog and Diamond Dog were the boss of floor eight, decided to backtrack to four after finding a couple sea pendants, and is now back on five alongside Ryko Rider. Interesting to note that on Temple's side, Ness already has learned Life Up Gamma. This is a full heal in terms of HP recovery, but it's only one party member. Ryko navigating behind the desks to uh, get away from that central robot. Wouldn't be a difficult fight, but at that point, it's just a time waste and probably doesn't care enough about the experience to make it even worth his time if he can just skip it. Temple yeah, finding another hitman. But Temple finding hitman on floor five, I don't believe Ryko saw that hitman. Nope. I don't believe so either, because if he did, he'd see the trouble that was in front of him. I can answer that. I believe it was Pooh that rolled heal for this seed. And Ryko finds a lucky sandwich. Now, this is an interesting find because there are a number of variables that go into the lucky sandwich item, which are determined at the moment you pick it up. While Raiko gets a cup of life noodles, I'll continue with the point in saying that there is a chance of partial HP recovery to varying degrees, including a full HP recovery, a partial up to a full PP recovery, and the number that stands out to me, a 2% chance of a full HP and PP recovery. 
So yeah, a lucky sandwich can really be worth it if the RNG is in your favor. I, I generally just don't even bother with the lucky sandwiches. I feel like they're too much of a, a time waste to even bother with them. It's too rare. On the, the temple on the left side finds a skip. He uses his pencil eraser to jump onto a random floor. He has entered the He's department the store though. He knows immediately that is back to floor one. Yep, that it is. Raiko, on the other hand, finding Paula's jail cell. That is a Franklin badge. I've seen too many seeds where lately where that where we haven't even found one. But if that's the only one in this seed, then that could be really worth it for Raiko. Oh yeah, of course. I know. I think the the most that you can ever see in a seed is uh, a seed can have zero, one, or two Franklin badges in presence. And then uh, in addition to the jail presence, so the maximum number of Franklin badges you can have is three, and the least amount is zero on a given seed. Had plenty of seed, run into a number of seeds, or either I don't find any, or I flat out don't see them. Temple finds the skip sandwich the room on the that Raiko ran into earlier, but has not found any skip sandwiches. Temple doesn't want any part of the robot fights either, because at that point, the sentry robots are a pain in the butt. However, a vital capsule was just found on it's Temple's. A, it's a nice find. It'll get that get that person extra 10 HP, the next level up, roughly. Yeah, vital capsules tend to pay out long term in my view because in the vanilla game, your character is prey as Paula and she also has the lowest amount of HP in the party. So that's typically where I'd go for vanilla for literally both reasons. Raiko on the right side just probably doing some kind of taking the, the opportunity at the shop to do some inventory management, getting rid of some items. I don't know if there's any items at the shop he's trying to get. It doesn't look like it. it. looks like he just sold a bunch of stuff and now he's out of here. Just taking the chance to clean up his inventory a little bit and get some money in case he runs into something in the future. I'm not so sure about that. I do believe he raised up $7,500 on purpose, which would enable him to take Oh, a yeah. Interesting. He's definitely going to go back to Onet to uh, try the, uh, the shack. He's going to buy the shack to see if that's a good skip. I didn't even think about that. This Antoid frog fight is turning into be a little nasty. He's gonna lose Paula as he tries to run away. Gets finally gets away, but loses Paula in the process. But he's well on his way to finding or to taking the skip on the the shack skip. We'll get to find out if it's forward or backward. Temple, did Speaking Temple just take skips. another skip? To, to go on under floor. Yep, and it went back to floor one, so he's <sighs> noping out of that. And right, just got a back attack on some flies. Not gonna bother with that. But... I know Temple has the pencil eraser. He did just find a peaceful or peaceful rest valley. He could go all the way across if he if he wanted to, but probably deciding nope. Well, that's happy, happy village on Raiko's side. My first thought when finding this area is checking the stand to see what can be grabbed. Really nothing useful at this store, but yeah, definitely. You can now use the, the free shop to maybe get something useful. Maybe just find something that's expensive so they can sell a bunch of it and fill up on money. Probably the most of the best things you could find there would be like multi-bottle rockets, super bombs, revival items, stuff you can sell as well, which is a common strategy. So correct me if I'm wrong, Ryko Ryder took a skip now through the shack, he, and he is on an unknown floor, correct? I believe so, but we're about to see the uh, free stand. Oh, that is... And, if, it, if you were planning to make some money, that is the most worthless shop ever. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Maybe free skip items are your thing. Yeah, that he, was he, th there's a protein drink that he could have picked up, some other things, but when it comes to... that, he, he, Pretty much skip items were the only thing useful in that shop. 
Granted, it's not totally useless, but you're hoping for something a little more. Raika Ryder now sees the blue cop, which probably signifies that uh, he went backwards. Oh, he sees a trash yeah. can and a rat. Actually, I don't know what floor of this. No, no, that was the t no, that was the top of the uh, dungeon, man. He's gonna want to get through here. He takes the back attack from the uh, tough guy, which honestly I think was the better option because honestly. This will enable a full heal. I, so I, I believe take that over the spark enemy. And judging based off these enemies, the tough guy and the the shiny enemy, that which probably is a floor a sanctuary seven enemy, and you're looking at sewer enemies, he was on floor five, so he's likely on floor seven or eight. My guess is seven. So we're probably thinking he skipped forward. But again, yeah, he, he Raiko is still forward. unaware that looming ahead is Carbon Dog and Diamond Dog, which is specifically why Temple backtracked to five to find a way around. Temple finds a jar of fly honey. He could make his way all the way back to floor two or wherever and take the belt skip. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. It wouldn't get him up to floor nine, though, so I seriously doubt it. Although it is amusing to have Belch lose his mind because he wolfed down his favorite food. Raiko finds the pizza. The pizza shops now he can call and get a large pizza if he wanted to. Large pizza can be extremely useful for either a, a skip item. I know Temple found a, a skip on floor five that wanted a pizza. And uh, additionally, a large pizza can be extremely useful for the Gigas fight or Carbon Dog or whoever. It's just a nice heal on everybody but Pooh. Yeah, Pooh does not get to reap the benefits of that. And all of those. De oh man, mass casualties on Raiko's side. Somebody get the medic, as that was a disaster. <laughs> I imagine the first thing he's going to be doing now is getting back to face. Yep. I would believe that, too, because that is trouble. And a cleaner face room than that. Oh, this will... Okay, so we have confirmation from Chaz, who's looking at the spoilers, that Happy Happy Village is floor 7. So we got Raiko on 7, who skipped from 5 to 7, and Temple, who was on floor 5, who has taken a skip from 4 to 8, but decided to backtrack since Carbon Dog and Diamond Dog was the boss of 8, just looking for a way around the dogs. Raiko still does not have the knowledge of who the bosses are. Boss of floor 7 is Shroom, and the boss of floor 8 is are the dogs. Now, compared to the dog, Shrim is just a relatively minor pain in the butt. Temple, Temple masterfully ro routing his way around those desks. Temple found, finds the, uh, the shack, finds his own Franklin badge that Raiko found a little while ago. So both runners now have this Franklin badge. I guess isn't the only thing that that will come in handy against. There are enemies that use electric shock attacks from your major enemies down to running into minor foes such as Zapius. Oh, wait a minute. Those mice explode? Yeah, I was going to say, we got exploding Can mice on Raikou's side. Rodents? <laughs> That's a random thing that can happen sometimes in this randomizer. So, yeah. <laughs> Safe to say, I'm a little surprised by that. I mean, it's not as nasty as six exploding slugs, mind you, but it's still a shock. I'm always nervous to fight fobbies or, or the slugs, yeah, like on higher floors. I'm always nervous they're going to have ro rolled explosive deaths. And then I'm just going to get destroyed once I kill one and I'm going to panic and just get wiped. 
wondering what the odds are of that. Hmm. Raiko finds another shop, but finds nothing useful. Instead, he's just gonna withdraw the rest of his money in case he does find a, a shop that is a little useful. He's now up to five thousand dollars. I don't know. This shop has a French fry pan for Paula and bottles of deluxe water for Pooh. That's a forty PP recovery. Temple stumbles across the boss to floor five. So he will be advancing to floor six, a floor that Raiko has not seen, and uh, just still hoping to find a skip forward, pa or uh, skip to nine. We'll see if this strategy of being on eight and backtracking to where he was to four to find a skip around is going to pay off or not. Temple fighting the second of two drowsy barfs in this seed. There was the scripted one and the end of floor boss. And Temple wins. <laughs> so Temple has advanced to floor six now. Uh, we got Raiko on floor seven. Both players, again, Raiko still does not know what his future bosses are. Temple does know that uh, we got Shroom on seven and... Dog on eight. I forgot what was the boss of floor six, though. I don't remember, but the full heal on six is fair, fairly early in the floor. And there's something that I would consider tempting it for Ness, an ultimate bat. I picture it as a bat with an image of Monokuma from Danganronpa on it, but maybe that's just... T the Temple found a, a gutsy that. bat a little while ago, though, so... Um... I imagine he's gonna hold on to that. I didn't even see where that was, admittedly. Raiko finds a C pen on a floor seven, so he finds his first flash resistant item. And that's a very good one to find too, because short of the star pendant, that's your best option. I mean, for for the for all intents and purposes, for the Gigas fight, they're both identical. Gigas doesn't do anything that the star pendant adds any protection for. Now, Raiko finding Tucson, this floor is gonna, this room rather, has a total of 19 doorways, Temple finding the goddess stand. The question is, which doorway is the one? That's not it. Now, there is Berglund Park and a few vendors that you can check in this area as well, see if they're selling anything. I don't think we've seen any super bomb vendors yet. No, I haven't seen any 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 kind of bottle rocket, well, any kind of big bottle rocket or multi bottle rocket or super bomb vendors. So both players, or like a heavy bazooka, or even just a regular bazooka, both players are probably struggling a little bit for uh, lack of damage right now. They would be relying. Temple has got some decent damage with the gutsy bat. Both players have found the auto star master. So I mean, damage is decent. They would both like a little more. I, I know that for a fact. Yeah, can confirm. The thing with the gutsy bat is you need to have a high guts rating on Ness in order to get the frequent smash attacks that will really maximize its power. I mean, yeah, that sounds time consuming and all, but believe me when I say gutsy bat smash attacks do devastating amounts of damage. Looks like we have some frame drops over on Temple's side. Hopefully that comes up soon. Raiko finding a counter Psy unit. I can't think of too many enemies that that would benefit in this situation. Uh, there's the other side of the first one of the pizza rooms, the one from the one that calls you a useless monkey hater if you're not able to give her one. In this situation, it would probably behoove Temple to check the desert because you're on a later floor. The items have got to be something good, I would think, right? Raiko 
Raikou finding a crystal charm. Not a bad pickup for, to give Jeff a little bit extra speed. Oh, wait a minute. Did a Temple skip something? Did, te did Temple take a skip? Did I miss that? I might have missed it too. With that being the case, Chaz has found Super Bombs and is apparently on the tiny ruby skip on floor six to get to nine. Wow. Meanwhile, these bodies are teeing off, quite literally. But yeah, Temple managed to find his skip that he was hoping for to get around Carbon Dog and Diamond Dog. It took him about, about 15, 20 minutes to ultimately pass Carbon Dog and Diamond Dog. And maybe that's how long it would have taken him to get past that fight anyway, if not longer. He's probably feeling pretty good about the fact that he has now advanced past 8. He doesn't know for sure, but he does know that based on the enemy difficulty, he's either on 8 or 9. But he did find a Super Bomb vendor. So at the very least, he now is probably prepared for either the dogs or Gygus. Raikou's in a bad spot here. It's gonna be a very big level up for Pooh, however, as Pooh gets up to level 40. Did not see if Healing Gamma was given, but that's a free in-stop. The only thing that's going to do is give Pooh all their HP and PP back. <laughs> Don't think Temple has enough bombs? Yeah, I, I think Temple easily bought, what, maybe 20 super bombs? He is loaded. He's got the C, he's got the pendants, he's got the super bombs. I don't know. I imagine he already has Shield Sigma. They both had to take a lot of fights. So I imagine Temple at this point is just looking for maybe a base of operations, uh, a place to save, um, and looking for Gygus. Which could be at the other end of Dusty Doom's Desert for all we know. We're going to go and jump over to Temple's audio now that we know that Temple is again taking the lead is on floor nine. And again, the Temple. lead, take, say taking the lead is probably a little bit subjective just because things can change at any point. Things, people can get unlucky. Raikou can find a skip to nine from, from floor seven. Things can change at the drop of a hat. But at, for, for, the, for the moment, Temple has the lead. Yeah, there's just one thing that could hold Temple back from taking on. Well, taking on Gygus, I just saw his menu. No Psychic Shield Sigma to this point. Oh, okay, so he has not learned it. Do, do you, have you noticed who, which character has Prey? That's always one thing I don't that think about until cool, right at the very end. And it looks like he's going for Prey strats to try and revive the party, but instead, gets the kill, gets life up and healing gamma in the same level up. You don't see that every day and it's 75% chance for healing gamma to even work. So it's a dice roll, but it works out as now the party's back in the fight for poo. I want to point out as well that Temple picked up yet another C pendant on 9. So Temple is sitting on two star pendants and a C pendant. Did he find another? Did he first find a star pendant too? So does he have three star pendants and a C pendant? I could have swore I, th I thought it was just a C pendant. Either way, he is loaded up on pendants and a Franklin badge, and he's got damage. He just needs that shield sigma, and he's ready to go. That might be what he's looking around for enemies for. Well, meanwhile, Psycho finds an enemy you probably don't want to deal with in a low HP situation, and that is a loaded dice. Loaded dice, every single turn it's on the field, will call for help. So, fights against that enemy can get out of control very fast.
We'll have to see what temp how Temple feels about this current state of his characters. Uh, if he decides to find a save, so for example, if he enters this door right here and it's Gygus, does he decide to find a save before taking on Gygus, or does he just go for it? You gotta feel tense because this is an elimination match. Whoever loses is out of this tournament, and whoever wins moves on to face Aurelix in the semifinals of the loser's bracket. Yep. That will... Yeah, let's just say it would be a tense situation no matter what you decide to do. And speaking of tense, it's starting to get tense on Raikou's side as Ness has been poisoned and he almost lost Paula in that exchange. Temple finds a magic fry pan. Yeah, Temple is not struggling for damage right now. He's finding all the offensive items. He's got plenty of explosives. He just needs to find Gygus in a save. Not feeling that path. Finds a skip. Oh, he doesn't even explore it. What a disappointment. Raikou just found a large pizza. Okay. So he, he did have the, the phone number for the pizza place. Ooh, and Raikou finds another skip room. Does he have the burger to explore this? He does. So this could go take him either to nine or backwards to five or below. And if it takes him backwards to five or below, he has the chance to try that right side of that skip room to see if it takes him forward to nine. In the main hub, a giant step. Now you're seeing three or uh, the, the, the Halloween characters. So that definitely went backwards. He does not. Oh, he has the king banana as well. So he gets to try the right side skip as well. If that's a far skip, that could take him to floor nine. No, it's a far skip the other way, all the way back to the beginning. Ugh. Oh, boy. Takes him. Temple just found something super nasty. Ghost to Starman. Good thing he ran away from that. And he's found Gygus. Yeah, he's found the Gygus. He's probably going to drop the Exit Mouse. And uh, looks like he's... He's debating whether he wants to do this fight now or if he wants to go save and heal up a little bit. With all the damage that he's got and all the pendants and everything, he's he's just going for it. I don't even think he has Psychic Shield Sigma, so Wait. this is... Now he's, he's backing out? I guess he, he's second-guessing himself now. <laughs> he's, he's just throwing us all for a loop for fun. <laughs> he got halfway through and he's like, mm, I'm playing it. I'm, I'm going to play it a little bit safe. Maybe he... I know there's a couple characters got that have low HP, so if he takes a beta, it could be, he could put himself in a really bad situation. He does have all the explosives and all the pendants, but he doesn't have much revive potential. And as Rizzo folks points out, <laughs> no chicken freed either. Well, I don't think he had it. Well, I mean, there was a chance to where he could have freed one, but he decided against it. I don't think Temple has explored this bottom path, so maybe he's hoping that something beneficial is down this bottom path. Even if it's just a save, he just wants a place to save so that if he eats a beta on round one, he can just reset and try it again immediately. It's just that, that one in four chance of eating a beta that you're always in, that's looming in the back of your mind. If I take that, I'm going to lose, for example, in his current situation, Ness, Paula, and Jeff. <laughs> Little does he know that he, he he doesn't know that he's got plenty of time, but with the times that people have been posting, lots of close to one hour or if, or if not faster, you got to feel a little pressure to, do I do I go for this now? Do I play a safe? Did Raiko also find the skip to eight? Did he t down Carbon Dog and Diamond Dog fast? Has he been on nine for a while now? Where is he at? Just tons of questions floating in your mind about, <laughs> about, um, how you should deal with this and where your opponent is at. Finds a Horn of Life. There's a revive item. Is he going to call that enough? Oh no, he's exploring these other rooms. Well, there's a full heal and a save, so... I think, he, he I think he's going to save right here and probably check his gear, make sure everything's good to go, and then he's probably off to Gygus. doing a little bit of exploring. I'm not sure what else he's looking for. He set the exit mouse. 
Rykos found the pendant and pudding shop, so now you could look. He could load up on magic pudding if he so desired. Yeah, he doesn't have enough for earth pendants, but he but he has found a sea pendant, I believe, already. So earth pendants would be nice, but not quite a necessity yet. Temple looking for easy experience. Interesting. Does he not? Maybe he doesn't know Shield Sigma yet. He's just looking for a fight where no one's gonna die. And he can just get some quick experience. So it looks like he's trying to pull away one a, a single enemy. Yeah, and he's instead getting hordes of enemies that would likely be conducting spirits, which would attack with flash and thunder, which would be pretty dangerous to go against. Yeah, so got some really lousy HP rolls on this seed. Uh, Ness, Jeff, and Paula all have 150 or le or less HP. He just learned Shield Sigma right there, so I think he's now ready. I did I did not realize he didn't have it, but now he knows he does. He's ready for Gygus. He's gonna go heal, save one more time, and probably Eden eggs him out straight to Gygus. Rykel finding Baddest Beam, which is the third best weapon for Jeff. With the only the Moonbeam gun and the Gaia Beam being stronger. Yeah, Temple just managing his inventory. You want to do this before you save. In case you wipe, you don't want to have to uh, do all this again. This can often take a couple minutes to scan your inventory. Remember what on earth you picked up up to this point. Move anything you can to any person as you as you plan your your future rounds against Gygus out. I think Rako's about to use the pizza for a skip, and that character that speaks to you in the monkey in the human language says, "Great Ooh. pizza time!" Ooh, Rako's in Saturn nine. Valley. Rico He's on nine. Four nine. And if he takes the right path, he is um, just a, a, a few doors away from Gygus. All of a sudden, this got interesting. That's how quickly this randomizer's races can turn, folks. Because, I mean, Temple, if he eats a beta, it's very likely he just resets immediately. What's Raiko's pe pendant status? I believe Raiko has a single C pendant, and that's it. He's a room away. Oh yeah, this left door right here is the Gygus room. He's gonna find Gygus right here. Yeah, but those enemies are nasty because Ghost of Starman has a set pattern where your first turn is Starstorm Alpha. Then five turns later, it's an Omega. And then it repeat the pattern repeats. Man. So Bo both runners are now in the Gygus room. <laughs> And Temple's going for it on fourth down, basically. Error. This is this is a this is a meme that I that I know is a meme, but I don't know where the meme is from. Maybe it's Zelda one or two or something. It's Zelda one, and it's one of the. Uh, community hints that the old man that the old men can drop when they have turn hints off or do community hints Ooh. temple take oh, temple a takes beta. a beta that is bad news so jeff goes down he keeps paula alive Ness did not take mortal damage Ryko on the right side is going for gygus he does not have a save prepared for it. So if if Nempel were to wipe, he has a, a, a get, basically a get out of jail free card and he can start over immediately. Raiko does not have that, that luxury. Raiko has also not found the super bomb vendor. So he does not have the kind of damage output the temple has. <sighs> this is getting tense. <laughs> oh my, this is what, this is where the fun begins. Granted, I think all three of these characters have uh, pendants. I don't. I don't remember where he spread or where Temple spread his pendants out to. But um, really, he did find a Franklin badge. So as soon as he makes it to phase three, 
I imagine he put the Franklin Badge character on whoever has, or Franklin Badge on whichever character has Prey. So if, if once phase three is reached, he's probably won. But it's, it's, very, it's very likely Temple is getting out of this. It's just a matter of maybe things go wrong. I, I, I don't know what could happen. Who also drew a beta. Ooh. Both players taking Two a beta on round one. Save. Two gut saves on Pooh's side. An unfortunate break as paralysis fails to work for like the... I swear that first turn paralysis has been failing more often than not of late. Temple powered through phase two in about 20 seconds. So... Um, Unfortunately, it looks like Temple's gonna take this. Assuming he put the Franklin badge on Pooh, and Pooh's got a C pendant or some some something along those lines, it's just a matter of time until Temple wins. And with having taken that beta on round one from on Raikou's side, he does not have a backup. He does not have any way of recovering. I don't know where his last save was. This is a rough spot for Raikou. I see what Raikou's doing here. This is kind of dicey because the, if Brocken fires at the enemy side, a kid's taking damage regardless. However, it keeps, it basically puts the damage onto Pooh instead. Yeah, I think Raikou is just thinking, I need to conserve my Psyche points for later phases. This is just the cleanest way to get through this. I just have to keep Pooh alive. Temple just creeping one prayer at a time towards the end. Pooh, the one with Prey, just has enormous HP stats. So there's just zero chance of Pooh going down at this point. That's a beta, and that really hurt Ness on his rise side. However, gonna try and save it, but is not going to because of that alpha going to the enemy side. Wait, yeah, this is, is a rough spot on, uh, on Raikou's side. He's got bottles of water to restore MP, but Pooh's the only one alive. Pooh is the one with prey so Pooh's the only one that needs to be alive but it's just a rough spot to get out the damage he's probably in that mode where he needs to let his HP tick up before he does actions again so that he, he can take a few free actions quickly before he needs to heal again yeah he's healing on this turn which makes a lot of sense and here comes Temple's last prayer Temple is going to take this one and claim the victory in this round and move on to, to race Aurelix in the next, next round. With a final time of 101.53. GG, get your GGs in chat. That turned into a barn burner right at the end. Yeah, that was... It felt like Temple, or Temple was just exploring Floor 9, taking it safely, and then bam, out of nowhere, Raikou was right on the exact same spot, got lucky and took the same path, and both started Gygus within about a minute of each other. <laughs> the only difference is how it played out is Temple getting two burgers, going up to eight, getting penance, and then retreating to avoid having to deal with the doggo situation. Here goes this, here goes the, uh, one of my personal favorite strats against Gygus is to brain shock because that is the one thing this enemy is susceptible to and who does have the Franklin badge and uh, Team Rocket just blasts it off again on Temple's side. Congratulations again to Temple. That was a, a great race between these two. It looks like Raikou is going to try and power this one out. He's on phase two of Gygus. Pooh is pretty much invincible with the Franklin badge and the C pendant. 
And he's got some DX waters. He just revived everybody. So Raikou's going to power through this one. the heavy shots as here comes some rocking and star storm action this will add damage up real fast Raiko making his way through phase two. He's moved on to phase three. So Raiko, with the fast text and the quick and the no uh, cutscene prayers, this is going to be about a 107-ish for for Raiko. Stats on the left side for Temple. Let's see if I don't believe he freed any chickens. So, I mean, take the win as you will, I guess. Yeah, at the end of the day, I think Temple exploring all of floor eight four and then making the decision to back off and not try carbon dog diamond dog made all the difference only now, two no problem here's one with... one. yeah well here's the uh dealio with uh this particular situation is when Pooh has prey you lose a turn if you're going to do brain shock straps, which is going to help. And what's going to help from terms of the menuing is that it is just who on Raiko's side. As it's faster to menu through one character than it is to menu through two or three or however many. Because you know the little stuff adds up in optimization, folks. So Raiko just wrapping this up. Considering that Raiko was on floor seven when Temple was grinding and just about to move on to Gygas, and out of nowhere Raiko finds a skip, this race got super intense, super fast, and it made for a really exciting finish. Oh, it certainly did, no doubt about it. At the end of the day, Temple just happened to have the resources to get through the Gygas fight faster by finding a super bomb vendor. Yeah, I mean, Temple had all the pendants, he had all the super bombs. He, he, did, he did take the beta on the first turn, but even with characters dying, he, he had no trouble getting through and outputting the damage needed. One more prayer to go for Raiko. One last Franklin badge back, and with that, Raiko has it's a wrap. Time to get your GGs in chat for Raiko, who finishes with an official SR TV time of 1 hour, 7 minutes, 41 seconds. Yeah, great race to both runners. Both runners taking vastly different strategies to get to the end, finding very different skips, taking very different paths for neck and neck at certain points, and then one person happened to take one path while the other person took a different path, and both ended up entering the final, the Gygus room for the final time within about a minute of each other. But just Temple had that had the all the damage output and all the pendants, and that was what ended up making the difference. 
bring Riker in. Oh, I'll let you guys do that. Never mind. Doesn't seem to want me to do that. <laughs> hey, GG's Ryko. Hey. So GG's, the difference Ryko. in that race was getting lost in the black hole that was too. Not necessarily. Temple Not took necessarily. A Temple to nine took a different path at nine longer and had found an explosives vendor. Um. Also. So, did Temple find the skip immediately to seven from the start? No, that wasn't found until much later. No, Temple found a, a skip from floor four to floor eight, and uh, just and found out from a hint man that Carbon Dog and Diamond Dog was the boss to floor eight, and ended up backtracking to four to find a skip around it, and it ended up finding a skip on floor six to four, floor nine. Uh, found a super bomb seller had f multiple pendants and was very very easily took took Gygus down. I was not very well equipped for Gygus at all. Yeah, you 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 and Temple entered the Gygus fight within about probably about a minute of each other, but just I, Temple I just, was so geared and ready for it that he just cruised through that fight. I just flailed so hard during uh, during that fight. I don't. I didn't know what else to do because, like I've been saying to Leslie, and not just this tournament, but in any other tournament, when you are an underdog, you have to take risks that you otherwise wouldn't. And I figured that taking on Gygus at that exact moment was the only shot I had at winning. And you were right because Gyg or a Temple had already started the fight when I think Temple was walking to Gygus when you entered the room. So you guys were literally steps from each other, except Temple was just so well geared. He he had already known where the floor was. He had already backed backed out to find shield or to level up, get shield, and and find a save point and set the exit mouse up. He had, he was playing a little bit safer. I'm just very happy that I spent as little time on floor nine as I did because I was having trouble leveling up on floor seven. Yeah, you hit floor nine and then found the Gygus room within like four or five doors. You took the perfect path to get there. I took, and I took three skips to get there too. I went from two to five, five to seven, and seven to nine. And you already had Psychic Shield Sigma by the time you got to nine. Temple had to level up to get that. Well, congratulations to, to Temple on taking that win. And Raiko, thanks. That was a fantastic appearance this year. Coming out of nowhere as a new competitor this year, you did a great job. Thanks. Um, I will definitely keep playing in these every year that you're on them because this, this randomizer is so much fun, and it's the only RPG randomizer I've really been able to get into. Nice. Chaz has done an absolutely fantastic job with it. It is built extremely well. We're lucky to have a developer as good as he is keep maintaining oh, this thing oh absolutely and um depending on um depending on what safeties chaz may be able to get into the into the options for like psi shuffle i would like to see that in next year's tournament that would be really exciting yeah that the a psi shuffle is already on you can already turn it on we just decided to leave it off this year i'm not sure exactly the reasoning behind it we're just i think they we just wanted to slowly introduce the, or, um, or keep the int the new introductions to the randomizer a little fewer between tournaments. Um, one of the problems I have with Psy Shuffle as it is right now is it doesn't is it make is there are seeds where it will make certain very important powers like Shield Sigma disappear? Well, it, it'll never make them disappear. It'll just adjust the level at which you learn them. No, I no, I meant like the actual Psy Shuffle option oh, that yeah. shuffles Psy powers between characters. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta go shield sigma less. You gotta you can't rely on it some sometimes. Or like the or like those seeds where no one has life up. I Ooh. did one of those. I did one I of those. I like to get some new strats. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Once, once that's confirm. a little bit more once that's a little bit more stable where like where where there are like certain guarantees. Um, I would like to see something like that because it would completely change the dynamic of boss fights. Uh, also, uh, also, I hope 
Also, I know Andy won't get the reference for the player name, but I know Leslie did, and I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I definitely did. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Um, and let's be honest. If I even if I did make it past Temple, I wasn't making it past Ori. <laughs> Well, thanks again for uh, for that race. That you guys did a fantastic job, and we'll. I don't know. Sure, I don't know if there is a, the next race scheduled between um, Temple and Aurelix. I imagine it'll be sometime in the next week or so. But until then, um, thanks again for everyone for hanging out. Congratulations to Temple, and we see. We'll see you all next time. Yep, GG's Radko, GG's to Temple. Follow the runners. They are the true stars of this. Otherwise, it'd just be a couple folks talking about Earthbound, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but having gameplay along it with it makes it even better. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time.